Next ship, written by Mark Dwight. Two is Jazila, written by Graham McCourt. Three is Large Action, uh, three times a winner at Newbury and written by Jamie Osborne. And four, running for the first time this year, is Collier Bay, written by Tom Grantham. And here's how they bet. And the champion hurdle third is a firm odds-on favourite. Now nine to four on, having opened two to one on. Then it's three to one, Jazila from five to two. 11 to 1, easy to back, Glenstow flagship from John Joe Neal stable, and even easier to back, 20 to 1, the outsider of four, Collier Bay. The tape and away. And Collier Bay shows from large action on the far side, Jazila, and Glenstow flagship, jump the first of the eight flights. Large action on the far side, Collier Bay on the near side, Jazila tucked in just behind him, and then Glenstow flagship as they race towards the winning post on this first circuit. Another seven flights to jump in this bonus sprint. Jerry Field and Hurd Hurdle. And Collier Bay, the leader, from Large Action and Jazila, and Glenstall flagship. Collier Bay, running for the first time this season, winner of two of his three hurdle races, this young horse, four-year-old, Tom Grantham with large action one of the Tote Gold Trophy here and third in the champion hurdle just in behind him Jamie Osborne and then third Jazila winner of four of his six races they all jumped that well and uh, Glenstall flagship, flagship winner of the Murphy's Irish Star champion four year old hurdle so Collier Bay large action Jazila and Glenstall flagship. As they race towards the third. Right over the far side here at Newbury. A very large crowd to see them too for this uh, Hennessy Gold Cup. Always one of the most uh, popular races of the season and it'll be the richest chase of the season so far. 42,574 to the winner. Meanwhile, 10,460 to the winner here. Over the fifth and large action, a beautiful jump, fourth rather, a beautiful jump on the inside of uh, Collier Bay. Towards the left, Jazila, close, and then Glenstall flagship, but Collier Bay back with the advantage. Large action, Jazila, and Glenstall flagship. They race towards the cross flight. Number five, Collier Bay lands in the lead from large action on the inside. Jazila close on the outer. Glenstall flagship tucked just in behind him, and three flights left to jump now. In the bonus sprint, Jerry Field and Hurdle. Collier Bay, the leader from large action. Jazila close, and then Glenstall flagship as they race towards the third last flight. Right over on the far side with the breast girth. Large action. The check colours of Collier Bay on the near side. Jazila over the third last. Little between those three. Not a brilliant jump by Large Action though. Coming down towards the second last. But Large Action well collected now by Jamie Osborne on the far side. Glenstall flagship coming there towards the left. Jazila still well in contention. Collier Bay beginning to drop out of it. At the second last and Large Action landed in the lead from Jazila and Glenstall flagship. And a slight mistake there by Collier Bay. So they race down towards the final flight now. Large Action over on the far side. Jazila on the near side, Glenstall Bay close in third as they come to the flight now, 20 yards off it. Large action on the far side, Jazila on the near side. Large action lands in the lead by a length and a half from Jazila who is now under pressure and then Glenstall flagship racing inside, well inside the final furlong and large action going away from Jazila as they race up towards the line. Large action on the far side, Jazila on the near side, and Large Action's going to hold the renewed challenge of Jazila, and at the line, Large Action is the winner, and Jazila is second, and Glenstall flagship is third, and fourth was Collier Bay. And so the result of the opener on Hennessy Gold Cup Day, first, number three, Large Action, owned by Mr. B.T. Stuart Brown, trained by Oliver Sherwood and ridden by Jamie Elsburn. Five to two on favourite. And second was number two, Jazila, owned by Mr. S. Aitken, 
trained by Reg Akehurst and written by Graham McCourt. And third was number one, Glenstall Flagship, owned by Red Nab Racing Limited, trained by John Joe O'Neill and written by Mark Dwyer. Fourth, of course, was Collier Bay. First was number three, Large Action, five to two on favourite. Second number two, Jazila, three to one. And third number one, Glenstall Flagship, 11 to one.